Hi all, and welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play Old World Revived Season 2. Yeah, um, yesterday uh, uh, I told you in the, the last part of the video that we were going to do a montage and we are going to set up a quarry and stuff like that. Yeah, and then on the when I said that, a little text popped up saying, sorry, there's been no montage because uh, I had some bugs with the game. Well, I've now fixed, well, I haven't fixed those bugs, but I have, uh, I know what those are now. The quarry is bugged, meaning that you cannot use the quarry in 1.7.10. Um, this one right here. The quarry from uh, Buildcraft Factory is uh, bugged for some unknown reason. Um... When you start it, uh, everything works fine. You see uh, a new animation. Uh, the old quarry had this little butt, this little uh, thing floating out uh, about, and um, uh, taken away everything that was in the way for the uh, quarry frame to uh, be constructed. Um, I don't know if the bot is there now because the way I use uh, usually set up a quarry is I set it up up in the sky, so it just uh, it doesn't uh, conflict with anything and just makes the uh, the frame instantly. Well, not instantly, but now uh, it does a new animation. It shoots out the uh, the frame parts <laughs> where they need to land on the um, uh, the grid you set up. It's 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 a pretty cool thing, but as soon as it is done with that and begins to do its quarry thing, that is where the game crashes. I have already uh, sent a uh, crash report to the FTP team. And yeah, of course, uh, Space Toad, who is the author of uh, Buildcraft, and uh, yeah, and, uh, th those sort of things will be... Uh, well, of course, uh, they will tell him that... Uh, Something is wrong with the quarry. As soon as it starts up, uh, the quarry phase uh, it crashes the game in 1.7.10. So sorry, we are not we will not be able to uh, use the quarry at this point. But I've also um, gotten some new uh, power generation here, and the cool thing about it is. The lava generator requires lava, right? Well, actually, let me just go and show it to you. It's uh, much easier if I go and show it to you here. Ow. Okay. I thought it was a brilliant idea. Um, because... Let me just uh, go into a flight mode here. Let's just be careful that we don't encounter any... Cool. Over here you see my little uh, uh, box I've made for the pump and stuff like that, a junk load on top. Okay, here we have the uh, the lava generator right next to the pump and a endo tank. I thought that I uh, had to physically place a uh, pipe from here into the um, the lava generator. But that is not so. Uh, let me see here. What happens if I do this? Let me see here. Does it retain the lava inside of it? Nope, it doesn't. Cool. Good. You see, nothing happens, right? Well, actually, okay, cool. It retains. It retains uh, its power here. Okay, cool. Yeah, as you can see. There is no pipes connecting this one to the ender tank, but it is connected to the pump. The pump gives the lava generator lava, the lava generator gives the pump power, and so on back and forth, and the pump then also fills up this one. As soon as the lava generator is completely full, it says, okay, cool, there's another uh, inventory, or, uh, yeah, inventory that can hold liquids, I'm gonna fill that one up. And as soon as uh, the lava generator uses uh, a bit of lava, it, 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 it's, it's so fast that, yeah, it then click over there and then goes back to filling this one up. 
I must admit, that is so genius. Oh, shit. Hello. This way, you stupid fucking motherfucking son of a bitch. Nitro creeper. There you go. Let us get home. Uh, whoa. Huh? That was weird. Where did I get damage from? Hmm. Link. Okay. Yep. And over. So, sadly enough, we cannot use the quarry. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we're gonna abandon that project. Hell no. We can use this one, the Ender Quarry. The Ender Quarry is just like the quarry, except that it does not make a gigantic hole in the ground. Then there's all of these different types of upgrades. Uh, Ender Quarry Speed Upgrade 3, 2 and 1. Silk Touch, uh, Fortune 1 and 2 and 3. Uh, core upgrade base. I don't know what this is. Uh, world hole. This one, uh, uh, you have to put in, and it makes uh, it makes the hole in the ground. But if you just put down the inner quarry, it will take everything that is not dirt and uh, quarry that up, but replace it with dirt instead. So that's pretty cool. And you don't uh, see uh, on top nothing uh, visually. Nothing is changed. But everything underneath is being uh, converted into dirt, and what is not dirt is being quarried up. But this thing is exceedingly expensive to build. Yeah, apparently we need uh, some, yeah, an oak sapling or some kind of sapling on top here. I don't know why. Sorry. Oh, but this is exceedingly uh, expensive to build and requires um, quite a lot of power. Ender infused obsidian. That is not that. Uh, that is not that big of a deal. Ender core for Ender's, uh, for uh, Ender infused obsidian, and magical wood. Magical wood is an enchanted book. It doesn't matter what enchantment is on. Uh, I do believe that. Well, actually, it does a little bit. The better the enchantment that's on the book, for example, let's say Fortune three on all of them. You will probably get one or more uh, enchanted wood out of it. I'm pretty sure. Or the liquid uh, transposer on this one. Hmm. That there is not half bad because experience is easy enough to get, and we have the means to drain experience from the character. We're gonna do. We're gonna do it this way. I think with the liquid uh, transposer. I think that's going to be the cheapest way to do it. And we need, of course, eight. Uh, eight of those in all. Also, we're going to need eight infused of these. Then comes this one. An infused burnt quartz, meaning you're going to have a quartz block smelted. Oh, my God. And diamonds. And, yeah, that's... Well, actually, it is not that... Endothermic pump, yeah. Now that I look at it, it's it looks really expensive, but maybe not as much. Okay, so okay, we're going to need four, eight. Uh, okay, that's one, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna need five. Five ender pearls and twenty obsidian. If my calculations are correct, yeah, and twenty obsidian. Yes, that will give us all of the ender infused obsidian. Then we're gonna need four blocks of quartz that we smelt. Yes. 
and then we're going to need this one. Good. Okay. First things first. Liquid XP. We are going to figure out how to drain XP from a character. Uh, let me just see here. Yep. Order up! Okay. XP. Here we go. The XP drain. Which is not that. XP bo Oh, for fuck's sake, I thought he was inside. Because this one isn't as safe as it used to be. But, uh, okay. Oof. Okay. XP shower, that's, that's a cool thing. But. Mm, wool grain, I don't know what that says. Uh, this is simply and cool. Yeah, this is what we need. We need the XP drain. That's pretty easy to make. That's that's more than easy to make, actually. Bingo! One XP drain. Bam. Yeah. Um. Okay. Now we're gonna go for tank. Yes. We have Railcraft tanks. Perfect. Which requires a button of iron. And well, we do have quite a lot that we've gotten so far. Got a little bit in here as well. Hmm. Robot? Huh. Cool. Tank? Huh. Okay, um, tank wall, tank gauge, tank valve. I'm thinking... I'm thinking that we're going to... Somewhere along this wall, we're going to clean up the, all of this. Somewhere along this wall. We're going to place... Um, uh, yeah, the tank, uh, or this one, the XP drain, uh, on a, um, yeah, a fluid pipe. Can we do that? Can we place the XP drain on top of this fluid pipe? We can. I'm not gonna, no, nope. it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to be linking. This is open blocks. This is Billcraft. Okay. Uh, cool. Going in here. Mods. Down to O for open blocks. Shift click that one over here. There we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, it has all these open blocks. It has the it has its own tank. Sweet. That is. It's quite uh, uh, easy to make. But do they have their own liquid? Uh, an HP bottler. Path. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, uh, paths here. Uh, if normal stone and a cobblestone, I think. Yeah, this is just colored. Uh, but then you get two paths, and when you make it down, you get uh, you uh, move fast on those paths. No, back to this rope ladder. You can throw it up, and then it connects. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Turn crystal. I don't know what that is. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that is that one. Canvas, XP bottler, block breaker, block placer, item dropper, drawing table, sky block, inverted sky block, sorry. Uh, 
Golden egg. Mm. Hand glider. Glider wing. Huh, not beam. Stencil pencil. Luggage. Oh yeah, this is a ah yes. This is a chest you can place down, but then pick up again, easily. Vacuum hopper, yeah, it uh, sucks in everything that's on the ground next to it. Healer. Elevator. Ah, yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, open block is the way elevator block. Hmm. <clears throat> Bear trap. <laughs> that could be cool. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, we know what the sprinkler system is. Okay, they have it. Ha open blocks has its own tanks. Hmm, I'm thinking here, I'm thinking. We only got three obsidian there. Well then, I think it's about time we go down and get some obsidian. Okay, let's just uh, you know, go all these up here. We don't need to see them. Oh, first of all, uh, do we have anything in here? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Look. Yeah, uh, I've taken the quarry with me. Uh, as you can see, I have it right here in my inventory. Uh, yeah. Cool. There we go. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Let us turn into a bird. Hey, how you doing, Creepo? Going down here, uh, got some lava right there, but that's not the place that I want to go. I want to go here, Yoink. and we have, whoa, lots of lava here. Do we have, yes, we do. We have a bucket of water. Here we go. Just going to place this water bucket right here. Sorry about that. <clears throat> well, um, I'm gonna mine some of this uh, stuff out here, and yeah, I'm gonna mine a, a good bit of it so we can make a lot of tanks. So, see you in a bit. And so, we are back. Just look at this. Beautiful liquid ender. Oh my god. 1600 millibuckets in that one and only in two, 4200 in this one. And there is four of them. As you can see here. As soon as I gain XP, I just step on this one and bam, we drain it all out. So, what to do with it? Well, um,. Since we are limiting this over here to be our power supply and stuff, I'm thinking that we can make something over here with uh, automatic um, enchantment thingies and stuff. But first, we also need that liquid transposer. Cool. Let's just uh, let's see here. L I Q lick. With the Q U Where are you? Hmm, let's see here. Hmm Why aren't you here? Liquid router, liquid crafter, liquid tank. Liquid transposer. Q U R R. Quarry. Fluid. F L U I E. I D. Fluid transposer. F L 
U R D. And where are prepared to tell are you? Fluid heat generator. Fluid tank. Oh, there we go. That's the one. A fluid transposer resonant. Resonant. Multiple. What? Manipulates liquid and fluid containers. Basic resonance. Okay, what the bloody fuck? That's how you make that one. What's going on here? How do I just make a normal... Okay. Thermal expansion. That's the mod I wanted. Uh, let's see, that's on the T. Thermal expansion. Why is everyone, why is all of them resonant? I want to just a, no a basic one, not resonant. Oh, what the fuck. Oh, let me just think here. Can I remember how to make a basic one? I think I can. I knew I know that we need a bucket for it, that's over time sure. We also need the pneumatic There we go, the pneumatic servo. Two pieces of glass Two pieces of iron and a redstone. Medic servo, yes. Okay, thinking, thinking. We also need... Pretty sure... No, we need a machine frame. A basic machine casing. See, now it's again resonant. There we go. Basic machine frame. We need a tin gear. 
And how was it we made that? I think tin gear was made just by a normal gear first. Making that into a stone gear. Then making it into a tin gear using applied tin. Nope. Does it have to be an iron gear first, then a tin gear? Nope. Okay. Uh, hardened, reinforced resonance. That's so typical of me. Okay. We just need tin all around a basic piece of iron. Cool. Back here. That one. Glass. And the iron in the corners. Yes. Okay. Whoops. I'm pretty sure that it goes something like this. And then something in the corners, but what was it? Automatic servo, machine frame, and bucket. Okay. Nullifier. Igneous extruder. Aqueous accumulator. How was it we did the the liquid transposer? Sewers? Lot. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna have to go out onto the internet here, guys. And Google. What was it? What is F L U I D? Yeah. Oh, uh, where is it? There it go. F L U I D T T R A N S P O S E R Fluid Transporter Farm Thermal Expansion. Yes, thank you, Waikiki, thank you. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Ah, yes. Okay, it's not this one. I was right that it needed, <laughs> I don't know why I had this one in my head. Yes, resonance, resonance, yes, perfect. That one, machine frame, that one, two pieces of copper and two pieces of glass. But that's not make it this time, what the fuck? Hmm. Let's see here. Fluid transposer. Okay. F O R four. F R N E C R A. F T Minecraft one point seven point ten. Therm expansion three. Okay. Okay, fluid transposer. It still comes back with this one. Redstone energy cell machine frame, 
bucket, glass, and copper ignit. Yep. I don't get it. Minor trick three new topic fluid transaction processing. Thank you. Okay. I'll turn off the music. Yeah, yeah, you're standing there squawking like a son of a bitch. Get to where you're doing something with the fluid transport, you stupid son of a fuck. That's the sawmill, that's not the fluid transport. the fuck had they now built it so that you uh, basic fruit test post it says it's in the game but where is it yeah I can do that I can do that but I can't do that What? Basic glass and copper gears now. And copper gears. Okay. Okay. I'm so sorry guys, you've probably seen it, but I didn't. Okay. Ooh, I think we've got some copper over here. Yes, we do. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Finally. Yes. Okay, now comes the big question. Where the bloody fuck did I put the... Um... There we go. Put you up there. I have an idea. No, 
this one needs to be there. The cool thing about it, I think it re still retains. Yep, it retains its power. You come with me. There we go. Cool. Now let's see here. If we place this bad boy down right there and tell it that it should get fluid. That's the front, sides, top, bottom, back. Right? Isn't it the right way? Let's just try and pick this dumb shit up again. Yep. It is going from the back, but but what if it does need a pipe to connect it? It cannot connect directly. Pipe. That piece of gold pipe with some. Yeah, that's my. Hmm. The pipe connects, but it doesn't seem to work. Hmm. I just want to see, see here if it even works right. Well, it's getting RF. Hmm. Well. Uh, let's do it another way. It get, it's getting power, right? Uh, Q U R. How many do we need? We need four. I think we need eight in total, right? We need eight of these in total. And that's just bookshelves, right? That's eight bookshelves. And we have books on mass over here because we took down... There we go. We took down our bookshelves downstairs. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. That is not what I wanted. Gonna put a book up in here. Cool. Yeah, but that's not what we're gonna do. Um, okay. We need a few. Let go. Book up in here. Like so. And uh, like so. Oops. I need to tell it first that it needs to. This one. There we go. Six. Okay. We need what two more? There we go. That's one.
And that's two. Bingo. Cool. Uh, screw that book. Uh, let's just go over here and... Oh, grab some of that. Hey! Lord, I totally forgot I had obsidian over there. <laughs> Lord. Okay, let's just put this one up in here. It goes down it gets polarized over to this one. Gets smelted and into iron over here. Cool. Okay, we now have eight of these. Gonna make a bucket. Because I do believe we can just do this. We're gonna gonna have to go in here. Thank you. Gonna hit this one up. Gonna place these eight up in there. Whoops. What happened? Hmm. Why doesn't this work? Okay, let's say that you input from the bottom. Yeah. It's still not working. <clears throat> Wait a minute. And that is how we're going to do it. It's a bit labor intensive, but what the hell? Yeah, and I can see we have reached the wrapping off point a long time ago. Let me just fill this uh, thing up here. <laughs> well, that is how we're gonna make it work. Okay, that's just one. Fucking hell, that's gonna take a hell of a long time and a buttload of more um, experience points. So yeah, thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope that next time, uh, <laughs> tomorrow, we will have what we need in order to make the Ender Quarry. But until then, catch on the flip side.